Christmas sleeper, c'est d'amour. C'est incroyable. Hi guys, and welcome to Beauty and the Brief. My name is Key with an I, not an E, and I thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I have a huge, and I mean huge, color pop haul for you all. The last time I did an unquarantine unboxing haul, I mentioned that I purchased a couple of items from ColourPop for the first time ever. I was a bit skeptical. I'm like, why is this so cheap? There's no way this cheap makeup can be high quality. But I was wrong. This is really good makeup, super affordable, made in the USA. And the collaborations, listen, they have my heart. So I went nuts the past month and a half, two months with ColourPop and listen I don't even want to tell you all how much I spent I'm gonna put it right here on the screen I kid you not like I went a little nuts to be fair I purchased a lot of stuff for you all as I was shopping for myself so I'm excited to give away quite a few products so if you're interested in receiving a bundle of makeup stick around i'll let you know how to enter the giveaway towards the end of the video before we hop in today's video i want to thank today's sponsor yoga my leggings for sending over these leggings i am wearing in today's video which i will show you all in a second but i kind of want to talk about them pros about these leggings first of all they are affordable when companies reach out to me with sponsorships a lot of companies do reach out believe it or not <laughs> I really take into consideration my audience and what they would actually spend money on. If things are more expensive, but it's a product I would actually use myself, purchase myself, and back myself, I would still promote it to you all. But leggings, I mean, there's only so much money I'm about to spend on a pair of leggings, me personally. So I love that there's an affordable price point for these leggings. These leggings are really some compression leggings. TMI, shark week for me, so I'm super bloated. And so I love that these leggings are able just to kind of suck me in on my bloatation, okay? So I really, really love that. These have pockets, and the pockets aren't super big or deep or anything, but I think it's convenient that they do have a pocket on them. And then the last thing I'll say about these is I love the very subtle, sleek look of these. So, a lot of times with leggings, especially if you go to the gym very often, you know that they are created for that purpose. So sometimes they have a lot of loud colors, a lot of wonky designs. I've been seeing places like Pretty Little Thing and such, I guess now have active wear, but like it'll have like the PLT on it and it has like all these random lines that like accentuate your butt and that sort of thing. And that is just, it's a bit much if you're trying to keep a subtle, sleek type of look. These are very subtle and sleek. I will leave all my information in the description box below, along with some other information throughout this video that I've discussed in the description box below. If you are interested in getting a pair of these leggings, check out the description box. So I'll put my code here on the screen, but again, check the description box for the link and everything below. You can buy these on their website, the Yoga Might website, but you can also buy them through Amazon. And so I like the convenience of that as well. But let's get let's into start with like the most boring, underwhelming one. And that's because I already threw away the packaging. This is just a ColourPop um, collection release. So this isn't a collaboration with Disney or anything. So I have it here. I'll show you all what it looks like. I already threw away the boxing, but I'll insert a clip here of a TikTok I made. With the Sunflower collection, I received this Soul Shimmering Dry Body Oil, which is so pretty. I'm not gonna do swatches and stuff in this video. If you're interested in swatches, let me know. But yeah, looks like this. It also came with this fourth ray glow up face oil. And I'm super obsessed with face oils. I mix this in with my foundation. So like as I put my foundation on my face, I'll put a couple of drops of this because if you don't know, I like really dewy, natural looking makeup. I'm not a super fan of caked face matte makeup at all. Next, it came with these cream gel liners. There's this yellow one and this brown one. I'm really excited to do a makeup look with these. Show you all, looks like this. It came with one of their nine Pan eyeshadow palettes and this one is called the little ray of sunshine and the colors in this one are so gorgeous 
super black girl friendly, okay? How pretty is that? So I'm super excited to do a look with this. It also came with their popular color, super shock eyeshadows. So these are standalone eyeshadows, super pigmented. Look how gorgeous this is. People are a huge fan of these, so I'm happy that they included two of them. I love shimmering eyeshadows. So yeah, this is super great. I did not purchase anything from that collection to give away because that's just a collection that's on their website. So I'm sure if you still wanted some of those items, you can get your hands on them. In my ColourPop frenzy, I ended up buying another one of their collections. And this is their Coast to Coral collection. And if you know me, you know I'm a pink girl, I'm a rose gold girl. So this just really caught my eye and I'm like, oh, I have to have this. This does still have the packaging. I haven't filmed any TikTok content for it yet, so I wanted to keep the packaging. So first here, we have this strawberry and papaya face milk, and it looks like this. I feel like you can't really see, but it has like the little dropper, and yeah. So it comes with this. It also comes with more of this Soul Body Shimmering Body Oil. It's so me, how pretty is that? Next, we have the Bay Breeze and the Gobi sets. And these are the Cream Gel Liner and Color Duo. And I'm gonna open those, but this is what the packaging looks like. So first things first, the Bay Breeze one comes with this pretty color here. And then this pretty color here. How gorgeous, right? The Gobi one has a darker tint, so it looks like this. And again, it has the cream gel liner. I'm really into stuff like this because I have a mile of space for lid space. I don't like to do too many eyeshadow looks, but I love to have fun with maybe my under eyelid with like a cute liner or something. So yeah, this is the type of stuff I love. And for comparison, you can kind of see the difference in the shades here. Moving along, this collection also came with two of their Ultra Glossy Lip Formula lip glosses. This is what this packaging looks like here. That is what these look like here. Again, you have a lighter one and a darker one. And if I were to compare the formula and like the scent of these to another lip gloss, if you're familiar with Buxom, that's what these remind me of. This came with Shook to the Coral um, blush palette. Really huge. I was surprised about that. This does have a mirror. I'm gonna keep it here so it's not glaring, but it does have a mirror. And this is the color of this blush. I love the shimmer in it. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm, which is one of my favorite blushes. I wear it all the time i repurchase it all the time so that's what this reminds me that's what that reminds me of and then it also has this highlighter palette called coasting i keep calling it a palette but it's just like the one color again this has the mirror which obviously has a sticker over it and this is what this looks like again a lot of shimmer just really something that i love how pretty is that Finally, of course, there is the Coast to Coral eyeshadow palette. Again, this is one of their nine pan palettes. And this is what this looks like. It's so pretty. I'm super excited about this color here. That's called the Keys. I just love all the shimmer shadows for sure. Like that is just my type. So that's what that looks like. And yeah. Again, I didn't purchase anything for you all from that collection because that's just something on their website. It didn't seem like it was selling out super fast. Actually, that one did kind of sell out, but they restock. Not frequently, but they do restock. So I figured if you guys really wanted anything from there, you can get your hands on it. I'm going to zoom through the next part because I mentioned Sailor Moon collection in my last haul. Um, I was finally able to get the full collection after four tries. I was finally able to get the blushes. And let me tell you guys about this. If you, if you watch any of my videos, you already know I have the eyeshadow palette and the lip kits. I got them from Ulta during the second release. 
So the first release was online, sold out in a minute. Second release, online, sold out, but they also released it at Ulta stores right before states shut down. And so I was able to get just those items. Everything else was gone. The next restock online, so this was like at the tippy top of the summer, I was able to get everything else besides the two blushes. So then a fourth time around, I was finally able to get the blushes, but I was so nervous because during that third time, blushes were in my cart and they sold out as I was checking out. Like I saw my total decreasing. So I was like, oh my effing goodness. So the fourth time around, I was really nervous that I was gonna lose out on the blushes again. So to be on the safe side, I added the full collection into my cart with the two blushes. So just in case people were just gunning for the blushes, if those left my cart, I would still get the blushes within the full collection set. And so basically now I have duplicates of everything in the collection. So essentially I'll be giving away all the items from a Sailor Moon collection. And I'll explain how that's gonna work towards the end of the video. But in the meantime, just pay attention to what things look like. I think it's nasty to swatch and show off items you're giving away. So the items I'm showing off are mine, the ones I'll be using. The ones that I'm giving away, I have not opened them, but I will show you like the packaging, if that makes sense. So first things first, we have the eyeshadow palette. So gorgeous. And these are what the colors look like here. And I have started to use them. So yeah, I do think it's black girl friendly. Um, you just have to know how to work with it and you have to just like really prime yourself right basically we have the moonlight and the daylight lip kits this is what the daylight looks like i'm speeding through this because i went into full detail about these in my other haul video and people who are watching this one as well i don't want you to be bored but people who are new to my channel i still want you to kind of see it and this is what the moonlight one looks like these come with a lip gloss and a lip block i'm Really like the lip blot because like, it's almost like a lip stain kind of. It's creamier, but it's like a lip stain. So you get that base color, but if you wanna double them up and wear the lip gloss over it, you can. Next, we have Moon Prison Power and Moonlight Legend. And these are their literally obsessed I, um, product. They're literally obsessed. And really weird because technically like you're not supposed to wear these on the eye area everyone's just kind of like well where do you wear this if like you can't wear it there you can't wear it here and again it's just it's just about how you wear it and your safety as you're doing so and for you who don't know this is my favorite color pink and I love pink and gold so just to have this packaging is great I use this last weekend for one of my eye looks Again, you're not supposed to wear this around your eye, but you can definitely see I used it. Look how pretty that is though. I was super safe, even with, of course we're putting it on, but also taking it off and all that, like you have to be safe. And this is the other one. Oh God, it's so pretty. And then finally, 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 my blushes. So we have two colors, Cat's Eye and From the Moon. Luna is on the packaging. Again, you have this pretty pink packaging with the gold detailing. This packaging is literally to die for, oh my God. Ah. Look how pretty. Ooh, and you can you can see me here, but let me try to cover it a little. Look how pretty this is. So this one is cat's eye. And then I'll show you the other one. I'll put them side by side so you can see, because one is way pinker than the other one. This one here is from the moon. And I did use this one last weekend as well. But to put them side by side so you can see what I mean, they're definitely, they don't look different here on camera, but they really are. This one is way pinker, this one's more corally. So yeah, I hate that they don't look super different here. That Sailor Moon collection is really what sparked this ColourPop frenzy that I've been on. From there, because that's the first thing I ever purchased was the, the Sailor Moon collection. Um, I saw that they restocked the Moon Moonlight collection. I know there's a lot of controversy about the movie, the actress, where they filmed, who was who produced it, all of that, the price of it. I'm not here to argue that. The makeup is pretty. So <laughs> I got my hands on the PR set and I'm so happy because this packaging is super duper gorgeous. Like this is definitely a collector's item. When you open it, it looks like this. So pretty, it comes with three lip products, two blush palettes, 
um, one of the, like a face milk, another face item, and then an eyeshadow palette. First we have this Lux lipstick, and this might take me a little minute because I just, this packaging is just too pretty just to rush through. And this is just like, you know, the boring side, but each panel is different. And I mean, ugh. I can't even can, you know? Even the inside of the box is gorgeous. Look at that detail. This is the lipstick. And look how nice this color is. Such a pretty color that really could wear throughout the year. So this is gorgeous. I'll be giving away one or two of these. I can't remember, I'll let you guys know. But someone will definitely be getting one of these. Next, this there's a Lux Gloss, and I've really been liking the Lux Gloss formulas. Formula, excuse me. This packaging doesn't have like, oop, I got a little. This packaging doesn't have Mulan on it, but um, still super pretty. And then this one looks like that. Ooh, so pretty. Like this is literally so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And this is what the applicator looks like if you care about those things. And then you also have a Lux Liquid Lipstick. I love this formula. And I know li liquid lipsticks were like all the rave. A couple years ago, like everyone was into the matte li liquid lip. And I think NYX had released the lingerie line. And, but their, the ColourPop formula is awesome. I have used this multiple times. This color is just so phenomenal. The way it applies is like butter. So I really love this. This is what the packaging of the blushes look like, front and back, top, matchmaker, and good luck charm are the names of these. Again, super gorgeous packaging with detailing. This does have a mirror, so I'm gonna try to cover it up. Look how pretty that is. So this one is good luck charm, and this one is matchmaker. Again, I'll put them side by side so you can see. This one definitely has a darker color than this one, but they're still both so gorgeous. Further away, you can definitely see the difference in the colors for sure. You have the eyeshadow palette, and this one is an 18 pan palette, I believe. No, 15 pan. This is a 15 pan palette, so much larger than their nine pan, obviously. 15 is more than, greater than nine. Again, beautiful packaging. This one does not have a mirror on the inside. I'm not mad about it because this artwork, I mean, please, hello. And again, these colors, look at that gold in the middle. Oh my, right here, oh. But yeah, this is super pretty. And I think this will be so good for fall, honestly. Only thing that you guys will not receive from this collection are this gold lip mask. I don't have any other lip masks from ColourPop, so I don't know the performance. I haven't used this yet, but it's so pretty. And then another one of those face milks, and this one is in Jasmine. You guys will see quite a few more of these face milks throughout this haul. So yes, that that is the Mulan collection. Okay, so like I said, Sailor Moon looped me into ColourPop, then I saw the Mulan, and if you don't know me, I'm a huge Disney dork. So that I even did a solo Disney trip last Christmas. So yeah, that, that should let you know. To go to Disneyland, Disney World by yourself, like it's real, okay? As I was in the process of getting these things, I saw that they released a Candyland collaboration. And if you are around my age group, Candyland was the game. Late 20s, early 30s, like that was our game, okay? I remember playing that game almost every day with my sister. I'm gonna show you a text message from my sister because like, I don't know why, but we played that game almost every day. So I had to have this, like clearly. This was super hard to get a hold of. The PR collection came with an actual board game and that sold out so fast, I could not get my hands on it. So I went through and tried to purchase everything individually, but this turned into a whole mess. Basically, I was able to get everything except for two blushes, right? Let me start off by saying that. Before they sent my items, they emailed me basically telling me the full body highlighter, which I was most excited about was out of stock. Apparently a lot of people received that same email because people were ticked clean off about that, okay? And I was too. But I kept rechecking the site because I wanted to try to get it. And I ended up coming across one of the blushes restocked. So I was able to get my hand on another blush, my hands on another blush. And I'm only missing one blush at this point. 
I say that to say my collection is not complete, but the reason why you'll see more items throughout this video is because I have been checking their website every day trying to find things. And that's how I ended up with more stuff. So like when I was waiting for Candyland stuff to restock, I came across the Coastal Coral collection. And it, that's just how I went nuts, okay? That's how they trap you. But it comes with four lip products. Three of them are lip glowing lip balms. And this packaging, again, is just so cute. Look at this. Can you see? Can you see? I feel like the color is getting washed away. Anyways, the colors are Let's Chill, Peppermint Frost, and Mr. Mint. All three of them have this packaging. So it says Color Pop Win. It has the candy canes. It's this really cute metallic pink color. I do want to preface this by saying out of all of the collections I've shown, this one is probably the least woman of color friendly, at least for my skin tone. Um, so, you know, like medium brown. Like, I don't know, like these are not colors I really wear. I don't really like pink lipsticks and definitely not orange. Again, this is a balm, so it'll be light. Dark skin woman, I think this will look so gorgeous on you. This for me, no. The other lip product in a collection is the Princess Lolly Roller Gloss. And you all, this is so early 2000s. The real ones know. We used to keep a couple of these in every color scent on us. Cherry, watermelon, all of the above, you know, strawberry, grape. We had them all. The, the, the young baddies had them all. So this is what this looks like. Very cute packaging. I don't know why. I do know why it's not focusing. Boop. Next, we have, I'm not gonna unbox these because you all can see it in the video on TikTok and I showed you all a couple of the other ones. But I have more of these face milks. And this one has a coconut, a papaya, and a watermelon one. And this is their fourth Ray Beauty Sister brand. Super popular product are their Super Shop Cheek Blush Colors. And this is what the packaging of these looks like. And these smell delicious. That's something I should have noted, noted at the beginning. This collection smells so good. This yellow is kind of off-putting to me. I don't know really. It just is, okay? I don't really like it. But that's what these look like. This color here is called Gummy More. This one over here is called Gumdrop Pass. And I think these are both great um, blush colors for me. This is the type of colors that I gravitate towards anyway. So yeah, these are super pretty and I've already started to use this one. As you can see, I used it last weekend. And this is the eyeshadow palette and this one comes with 10 colors. This does have a mirror inside of the palette. I'm gonna try to cover that up as best as I can, but you can definitely see the colors. And like I said, this is why I kind of said this one isn't as woman of color, color friendly. Like these colors right here, I probably won't use. Um, the rest of the colors, I feel like I can make work. I think I've already used this one and this one. But yeah, the rest of them I can make work. But that green and that pastel yellow, not feeling it. <laughs> I'm really not feeling it. But I mean, it's just such a pretty cute palette. Can't go wrong. Next, right? I'm moving into all Disney items, but these are all different Disney collections. But I'm gonna just move and groove through these. In my initial haul for Unquarantine Unboxing, I mentioned how I saw this Disney designer collection. And again, I'm a Disney dork. I love the Disney princesses. And this is an older collection, but sometimes they restock some of the items. So I was able to get my hands on a couple more of these items. First things first is this Court of Miracles Press Powder Blush. This is what the packaging looks like. I have Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame here. Love this gold detailing. This does have a mirror on the inside and this is what this color looks like. And clearly you guys can see I have like a specific type of blush color that I gravitate towards. I do have three lip products. If you watch my first one, you know I already had this Belle one, but I bought it in a set with a, a blush or a highlighter. And so because of that, it did not come with this cute box. And Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses. She is top three for me. So I had to get her separately. So this color is called Beast. Again, this is their liquid lip stick. And this formula, like I said, just applies like butter. I love it. I've been wearing this a lot, like a lot, lot, a lot, lot. Next, I have my girl Megara, who is technically not a Disney princess. She is goddess adjacent, okay? 
and Megara's color is called Wonder Boy and it's so pretty. Ooh, so, so pretty. So that is that. And then finally, I have Princess Tiana and her color is called Prince Naveen. And this color again, I think is just so pretty for the fall and just a very nice neutral subtle color. It's not muted or like super nudey, but it gives you just enough pop of a and color. And they have the Frozen 2 and a lot of the stuff, they do restock. A lot of the stuff was available on our website for a while. There was an Anna collection and an Elsa collection. Each one has an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, a lip gloss, and one of their Glitterly Obsessed products. The full Elsa collection was sold out. The full Anna collection was sold out. The full collection with both of their stuff was sold out. And so I kind of went through, I wanted one of each of the products. So I bought one from two from each sister. So like the Anna lipstick, I did not like the color of, but this Elsa lipstick, I thought was really nice. I would actually wear it. So I ended up getting this Same thing. The Elsa lip gloss, I wasn't a super big fan of, but the Anna lip gloss, I'm like, oh, this is right up my alley. So I did get this. I wanna show you all the wand because it has that paintbrush wand. I hate the paintbrush wands. So like I am picky about those things. Not super picky, but I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of those. But yeah, that is that. The glitterly obsessed um Anna's is gold and I am a gold girl all day. Elsa's I believe was like this silver white. I have no business with that. So I did not get that one, but I did get this one. And then the the Anna eyeshadow palette, I actually was a fan of, but they had been out of it. So I settled for the Elsa one. Then the Anna one ended up restocking, but I was like, whatever, I don't really need it. So these are the colors in this one. And again, I think I have a, a TikTok clip here that I will post for you all to see. So yeah, that was just random Disney Frozen 2 ColourPop collab Moving along. One of their first Disney collaborations, I believe, was the Disney Designer Collection. And this included the Disney Princesses. They randomly restocked this lipstick set on their website. It's called the Kiss the Girl Lipstick Set. It comes with six different lipsticks. And they are each after a princess. So there's Tiana, Ariel, who's one of my favorites, Belle, who's one of my favorites, Jasmine, who is my third favorite, and then Snow White and Cinderella. This one is Tiana. This is what it looks like. This one is Ariel. That's what this looks like. This is my first time seeing these because these just I, these just got here. The shipping has been nuts. This one is Belle. This packaging feels a bit cheapy in my opinion. Oh, and I'm, this is annoying. This one came kind of pushed up, so you see it's messed up. But this is Jasmine, and ooh, this color. I would have to do a lot to mute this. Yikes. And this one seems like it doesn't go down far enough. So this one just came messed up. Like, that's annoying. But when you're paying $9, $12 for a lipstick, like, what do you expect? This is Snow White, and this is a color I would wear. I love that one. Ooh, that's my favorite one so far. Finally, we have Cinderella. This is not a color I would typically wear. I would really have to go ham bam, thank you ma'am, with a lip liner. So yeah, that was this set, and I'm honestly a little underwhelmed by this. I wish it actually came with each of the packaging, each of the lipstick packaging, but whatever. This I'm excited about. They had a Disney villain collaboration, and this stuff has been sold out, and they randomly kind of repopulated some of the items. So I was able to get my hands on a couple of things. I have two highlighters and two lip glosses. This is from the Princess and the Frog. Look how cute that is. And these colors, oh my God. I'll show you guys. First of all, the packaging is just lovely. Look how beautiful this artwork is. This is gorgeous. So this is the color of this highlighter. This is perfect, like this is right up my alley. I keep saying that, but this is so good. I feel like you guys are seeing like what I gravitate towards is the lip gloss. And again, this packaging, the artwork, it's just so pretty. 
Now, again, this is that paintbrush applicator that I'm not a huge fan of, but it is what it is. I'm finding that with their, I guess this is like their ultra glossy lip glosses. That is the applicator that comes with these. And then the other one I have, <laughs> from Hercules and this is like I love Hades he's one of the best villains ever and I'm really into Greek mythology if you didn't know so again this is this artwork is so gorgeous I wish I got my hands on this full collection another super pretty color so pretty and then another one of the ultra glossy lip glosses again this heart artwork is gorgeous and this color is perfect for me. And yeah, that's what this looks like. And finally, 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 the last collection, the last Disney collaboration is their most recent one. It is their Hocus Pocus collection. And this one caused such a hoopla online. The day it was supposed to release, which was a Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern time, the site crashed. And they were trying to work through it. They were tweeting through it and they just could not get it together. I believe they host their website on Shopify. They were working with Shopify to get it back up. But these like cult classic collections are really hard to get a hold of. People who are not even into makeup will buy it just because of the theme of it. So if you're into Hocus Pocus, you don't even wear makeup, you're gonna want that for part of your collection. People who don't like ColourPop at all or never shop with ColourPop, they're gonna go for this collection because they love Hocus Pocus. Halloween is on the horizon, so this just caused a lot. When they released it, re -released it that following day on Friday because they could not get it together on Thursday, again, it was a huge mess. Some people were saying that the collection was available about two to three minutes ahead of the 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern time launch. And so they already had items in their cart. Some of the people who had tried on Thursday already had items in their cart. It was just a big mess. They did release it in Ulta stores on Sunday. So that following Sunday, a couple days later. And if you know how that works, a lot of the employees will go there ahead of time and buy things. They only have but so many pallets and such available. The lines at the Ulta stores were nuts. They were like wrapped around, almost like people trying to get a PS5 or something. Like it was just really nuts for people. So I'm surprised I was able to get my hands on this full collection. I had no issues. Like it was a seamless checkout, which is nuts. So I'm really grateful I was able to get it. ColourPop had been leading on as if they were going to restock. But we caught them in the comments on Instagram, basically saying that they are not going to restock it. So I don't know what happened in the past like week and a half, two weeks where they kept saying, sign up, notify me for when it restocks. And now they're saying they're not gonna restock. Like that just kind of sucks. And I think that that's a bit off putting, but I'm gonna show you all anyway, just in case miraculously it does restock or you know whatever the case may be. But because of all this, I was not able to get my hands on duplicates to give away. I do apologize for that. So first things first are these cream gel liners. And again, I keep telling you all I love this because I don't do eyeshadow looks too often. When we start talking about packaging and makeup and stuff, this is something I wanna point out. You can see I have it all facing the right way, but on the back, it looks like this bottom one, they print it the wrong way. So that kind of gives you an idea how that works. These are the colors of them based on one one of each of the Sanderson sisters. And I'm not gonna open all of them. This is what the packaging on them looks like. And you can see the bottom, what color it is. And then this is what the tip of it looks like. And then again, I'll just show you all what that would look like. So you have a green one, a purple one, and this reddish one. So super pretty. Next, we have more of the glitterly obsessed, super cute. That's what that looks like. Um, so what the sides look like. It says so obsessed. That's what the packaging looks like. And these are the two colors. So pretty. Next, we have these lip kits. Again, based on each of the Sanderson sisters, you can see each one here. And they are called, I Put a Spell on You, I Smell Children, and I Am Beautiful. 
This is what the packaging looks like. Actually, what the back looks like. And the sides look like this. So this, this packaging is really cute. So I will show you all this. And this is my first time opening up any of these because like I said, this, this package also just came this week. So each one comes with a lipstick and a lip liner. They are all in different shades of red. So that's what this one looks like. Because this is my first time seeing it, I'm kind of inspecting it. This packaging is really nice. Love that. Next, this is Sarah's collection. It's called I Am Beautiful. And I think hers I was most excited about because this is like a super dark red. Like if I was not able to get any of the others, I definitely would have wanted to at least get my hands on this one. Which again, I'm having such a hard time getting this out of the box. Like what in the world? Anyways, so this is what her red looks like. Love it. Same packaging, just different color red. And then finally, we have Mary's, which is I Smell Children. And this is what hers looks like, another darker red. And I forgot to mention that, okay, you can't really see it because of the way my lighting is set up, but this does have like really cute detailing on it. It's like a spider. And so I think that is just so nice. I love when lipsticks have those cute little quirky details about them. The lashes and we have Boss Witch, Clever Witch and Flirty Witch. I'm sure you can guess who is who, but these are so cute. And I think that the names are super fitting with the styles and the sisters. So for Boss Witch, these are very um, like work friendly, super wispy. Let me open it so you can see. Work friendly, super wispy, I would say. I probably will never use these. These are like for collection. Next we have Flirty Witch. Actually, let me go in order. Next we have Clever Witch. Again, this is a super subtle type of look as well. And honestly, it's like less wispy. They're more dense, but still super short and subtle. And then finally Flirty Witch. This is like my type of lash. This is like your, this is not super like evening light, night out, but if you don't like super dramatic lashes, this is like a good night out lash for you. And then finally, we have the eyeshadow palette, which is called Gather Round Sisters. This is another one of their 15 pan palettes. This is what the packaging on the outside looks like. I'm sorry, I didn't show you that. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. This one does not have a mirror, so much like the Mulan one. Instead, it has artwork. So it has each of the sisters. And then these are the colors, which I'm really pretty fond of. I think these are some pretty colors to play with. I'm excited about this purple, this gold. Clearly, I have a type, you guys. But yeah, this is what this looks like. And that was the Hocus Pocus collection. So now that you have seen everything I purchased, I'm going to show you all what I'm giving away. I appreciate you if you stuck around this long to see the giveaway. So yeah, I have it all already kind of set aside and how it's gonna be sent to you all. So very quickly, the first winner will receive some of the Sailor Moon items. And so you will get both of the Glitterly Obsessed colors. You will also get the Daylight Lip Kit along with the Cat Eye Blush. This is what the first winner will receive. This is bundle one. Next, I have bundle two, also Sailor Moon. If you want bundle two, you will receive the Moonlight Lip Kit, the Eyeshadow Palette, and From the Moon Blush. So this is bundle two. And I'm literally repackaging these so they're not mixed in with my stuff, okay? Next, bundle three. This is the Mulan collection stuff. If you win bundle three, 
you will receive the Mulan eyeshadow palette, you will receive the Matchmaker blush, and you will receive the Honor to Us All lip kit, so that has the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the liquid lip. lip. So this is what you will receive if you're a bundle three. The things to remember with bundle three is that you will get the matchmaker blush. Matchmaker blush. Bundle four. If you are the winner of bundle four, this is another Mulan kit. You will receive, again, the eyeshadow palette, the honor to us all lip kit. So that comes with three items. Again, I don't wanna like open and, and show too much, but you can see it comes with all three items. I showed you all what those three items are. And then you will receive the Good Luck Charm Blush. So both of the both of the Mulan bundles comes with the lip kit, the eyeshadow palette, and a blush. If you're picky, then you just want to know the different bundle numbers because the blush colors are different. Finally, for winner number five, you will receive the Candyland bundle. In this bundle, you will receive the eyeshadow palette, and you will receive each of the glowing lip balms. They called it a lip kit, so I thought it was gonna come in a cute kit like how the Mulan one did. It clearly doesn't, but yeah, you'll receive each of these. Mine are thrown over here on the couch, so I have not touched these, have not opened these. This is the most touching I've done. So this is what you'll receive for um, winner number five. So I have those bundles to give away. If you are interested in entering the giveaway and winning one of these bundles, as always, giveaway rules are super simple and easy. First of all, you need to be 18 or older. I do wanna do stuff for my babies, but I just feel like there's some type of something in place where you probably, I, I probably can't. I'm not trying to get you in trouble with your parents. I don't want your parents after me. I'm sorry my babies, okay? When you hit 18, then you can answer. But be 18 or older, of course, subscribe like this video follow me on instagram keyben you can see it down here below k-i-y-b-e-n and in the comments tell me which bundle you want to win tell me which bundle you want to win and what your instagram name is um i usually reach out to you on instagram so i can get your address information but yeah that is how that will work if you entered the last giveaway, please enter this one again. Um, a lot of times if I've seen that like you really interact or whatever, because I'm a small YouTuber, I try to hook you up, okay? That is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.